Hi, this is a demonstration of AppSec XBench, a software application created by AppSec which allows translators to perform searches in several types of reference materials at the same time. It not only offers refined searches, but other quality assurance features in a wide variety of file formats. In this video, we will show you how to load files and how to create an XBench project. You can order and download the application from xbench.net. This is what it looks like. Now we will show you how to load different glossaries and reference materials to create an Xbench project. We recommend you to download the necessary spell checker plugins as well, which you will use for the QA functionality. You can start using it straight away. Let's use an example. Imagine we are working on an English into Spanish translation using Trados and Tag Editor. As reference materials, we have a Trados exported memory in TXT format and a glossary in an Excel spreadsheet. We want to have these materials loaded on XBench in order to perform searches while we translate our document. In XBench, we have to go to Project Properties. The quickest way of loading files is dragging them to this window. We can drag several files at the same time, but now we will start just with the exported Trados TM. Once we drop the file there, XBench automatically tries to identify the file format, in this case, Trados exported memory. Here we can specify several options, which belong to a more advanced level. Remove duplicates is selected by default. With this option, we won't see any repeated occurrences in the list of search results. We click on OK and then OK again. Now the TM is loaded and we can start doing searches. For instance, we can look for the word backup. We can click on the search button or simply press enter on the keyboard. We will see all occurrences of backup found in the TM with their corresponding translation. This is the source column, target column, and the details for each segment. Let's load the Excel glossary now. Excel format is not supported by XBench, but we can load its contents by converting it to tab text format. You can have at least two columns, source and target, and then other columns for comments. We save it as tab text. Now we have the TXT file ready to be loaded on XBench. We drag it to the Project Properties window. XBench identifies the file format automatically. We can define this file as key terms. The corresponding results will show up with a star. The concept of key term in XBench is very useful for the QA functionality, as we will see on a later stage. We click on OK. Now you can see the two selected files in the Project Properties window. If we want to view the corresponding results in different colors, we can assign priorities. For instance, we can give the Excel glossary maximum priority and medium priority for the Trados translation memory in red color. This gives a better viewing for the search results. When you click on OK, XBench will process those files. Now, if we search for the string user guide, the results coming from the key term glossary show up with a star, with the corresponding comments as you can see, and the other occurrence coming from the TM shows up in red. If we look for another word, database, for example, the results show up similarly. In order to save this XBench project, go to Project, Save, and specify a name for the XBP file in this case, Spanish translation. Here is the XBP file. Next time you open this XBench project, those reference materials will be loaded automatically. To exit XBench, you have to go to Project, Shut down XBench.
If you want to learn more about Xbench, please see the next video, Xbench Basics 2, where we will show you how to perform searches and how to handle some of the search options. Thank you.